Greetings and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of the internet and everyone in between to Crusader Kings 3, this West Africa playthrough, where we have Kakra, the blood mother of Ocean Rific. Her husband, Krontihin, Krontihin Sakura. Well, oh, that's his title, Sakura. Of ocean Rific. and their child he has one child she has three Rimsy the ultimate <laughs> Hinda and pretty boy blue who has all the nice uh, traits as well pretty boy blue is uh, it's like he is betrothed at any rate here we are. Once again, it has been a little bit of time. I'm really excited to get back into this playthrough. It looks like we're at a little bit of a war-like state right now. Our armies raised. We have an ally in here. That's probably why the betrothal exists at all. What kind of army do you have? You have nothing, so we're not going to bother you. But right now, looks like we are in a battle with these guys over here, Kono. And they probably have allies as well. Yeah, they have allies over here too, in fact. Perhaps one. They're the bulk, I believe. Let's go ahead and unpause and see where we go. These guys were sieging down here. Oh, pregnancy. A child is growing in my womb. My husband, Sakura, will be proud. Good. Where this leads us. A scheme at court. My spy master has come to me with grave news. But we do not yet... Wow. While we do not yet know who, someone is plotting to kill my champion, Faduma. We must stop the villain behind this. Definitely. So while we wait for our army to move, get things going, I just want to um, explain the lack of uh, episodes for this series. I really am enjoying it, or I was enjoying it. I'm currently enjoying it now, once again. Um, really, it's just uh, started a new job and have gotten a little bit um, a little bit preoccupied with that. Of course, starting a new endeavor is generally better commander here. Starting a new endeavor in life is always, you know, always difficult time-wise. If we have uh, won the war, captured their marshal, very good marshal. About the same though, so I can end the war. Force demands I keep the contested county of Gola. Ah, yes, they were attacking us for this while we were engaged in a war up north. Or I believe Mao. Yes. Our army. Look at our prisoners here. If we have any, we have three. Then make you convert. Well, perhaps. Convert. I want to recruit you. As well, demand conversion. There we go. Two new converts to our religion. Okay. Take stock here. So we, we are converting culture. 
at down here. Debris. Get some control back. Bow. Nope. Oh, no. Bossa. Bossa is one of our holdings. Looks like we have two more than we can handle here. Ah, yes. Over here is what we want to keep hold of. It's going to be our home territory. And over this way. So, get the duchies. So, Basa is this here. I believe we control all of that, yes. So, who controls this? You. This and this. those titles then give us yeah Kono here so we don't need to give these away so we won't for now they will increase our income go ahead and unpause check things out we are uh we are with child currently. We'll be our fourth child. We have three sons so far, so. Alright, an event loyalty or fear as their Kronathina. Kronathina. <laughs> Kronathina. My vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law. But how much is obedience without devotion worth? Times of crisis, a slow response or a half-hearted effort can lead to disaster. Can I afford such a risk? And we're not, uh, we are just shy and we're impatient. Um, could try to impress this lady. Who is our neighbor? Not too worried about her. Generous liege. Uh, taxes go down. Direct vassal opinion goes up. We need our taxes, so... We're just going to do that because it's, it's neutral. The abhorrent. Prontihina Kakra. We have been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. No more. We are done paying you taxes. Once your coffers dry up and your larders are empty, we we'll wish you had treated us more fairly. Signed, Leader Osei of Peasant Revolt. Okay. Bad. Very good. Uh, but no. This will not stand. Raise everybody here. Yep. You guys are... You peasants are being a little bit ridiculous in your demands. I think it's time we set things straight. And took care of you. Hey, your newborn daughter is your new player heir. That's right. We have... Female preference. My relief is great and my joy even greater. I have given birth to a perfect little daughter. One day, child, you would carry on my legacy. Name would benefit a Krontihina. She has all the traits. She's beautiful, intelligent, hale, lovely. I think let's try. Chakra? Perhaps? No. Let's try... Let's hope for a militaristic child. Let's give her a martial education and name her... Name her Karen. May you grow to be strong and wise, 
my daughter. And let's bring in... Wow. I am an excellent... Will be me. Fittingly, educating my daughter and heir. Perfect. All right, here we go. Okay, my spy matchers come to me with grave news. It is my champion, Lubatko, that is plotting against my other champion, Baduma. You guys are just having a, a little spat. Okay. There's one down. Move in. Yep, oh, here we go. Let's move up here. Might be the last one here. They've given up. Well, they should. Oh my goodness. Courtiers going against courtiers. Jealousy abounds within the court. Fine. All right. We captured the leader. So. I'm going to recruit you. Okay. Because you're very good as a combatant. Right? One. Oh. Now we'll get you married. Here. Someone very smart. She would be good if she wasn't 42. Reason is, I want them to have children. I want everyone in my court to have children. Five beautiful. Hmm. Says she is fertile. Medium chance of show. Okay, so we'll we'll give it a try. Give it a try. And see what happens here. Right. Golden counties, of course. And create the kingdom of Guinea. and do that then we can have counts below us or dukes and now have a royal court the royal court D, uh, dlc is good you are now a mighty omanhina okay the guinean court as omanhina you have new duties and responsibilities you will now be expected to regularly hold court, solving the disputes of the realm and letting your courtiers take part in your daily routines. Amui is looking sternly at me in a direct, almost lecturing way. Perhaps, perhaps there is also some pride in his eyes. Who are you? Chancellor. He starts to unfold a beautiful banner bearing the emblem of House Unali. One of the ways in which the world will now judge your rule is by how you adorn and care for your royal court. I have taken the liberty to have this made as a gift to mark the beginning of your royal tenure. Okay, let's go. This is uh, mud brick, clearly. Not very amazing. We do have a banner. Let's see. The... Unali Dynasty Banner gives us prestige per night, not very much, advantage in Forest 1, the House Banner 
Dread gain 10, Night Effectiveness 3. Might as well. We'll put the Dynasty banner there. Put the House banner here. That's all of our artifacts. Now, with the Royal Court DLC, you have all of these options to available to you. We have last century fa fashion. We don't pay any maintenance on this. We can go up to the second tier, which is 40% of a gold coin a month. We get 2% uh, monthly prestige, core grandeur bonus 4, and courtiers and guests also gain a little bit of prestige per month. Um, lodgings. Tier 2 would be, again, 40. We'll call it 40 silver pieces a month. Guests can stay longer. Guest acceptance to join schemes in your court as an agent, plus 5. Court Ranger bonus 4. Courtiers and guests. Completed inspiration quality has a small chance of improvement. Rest gain minus 5%. Them. Servants could do another 40 silver per month. Guest recruitment cost down 20%, which is nice for bringing in knights. Personal scheme power 4, hostile scheme resistance 4, ranger bonus 4. And courtiers and guests get uh, a little bit of that bonus as well. We might do that one because of the recruitment cost. Then food. You can have modest food, 40 silvers a month, core grandeur bonus 4, stress loss, 40 years and guests 10%. That's, we're not worried about that. All right, tribal court. Night effective is 5%, level 1. After 12 months, courtiers and guests get their prowess increased by one. Years, they get another prowess, and after three years, another prowess. This man or army, let's do that. Court. Happens every five years. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall. A stream of people file in, some lining up in front of my throne, while others move out of the way so they can simply observe the proceeding. Several moments, all movement in the chamber has ceased. All faces turn toward mine expectantly. In front of me, I count three petitioners lined up in an orderly row waiting for me to call on them. Gesture for the first in line to approach. Yes, let's go. Oh, munificent Monhira Kakra, I am Ifua. And I've traveled far to ask for your aid in righting a great injustice. The man in front of me bows deeply before continuing with his well-rehearsed plea. Nana Brempong of Wasa currently sits on the throne of Wasa, but I am the true and rightful ruler of those lands. Aid me in pressing my claim. I shall swear fealty to you and serve you loyally until the end of my days. Sounds like an opportunity to declare war and immediately instill a vassal, or install a vassal. Uh, for now, can't help you, but please enjoy my hospitality. We are very poor right now. As soon as it is her turn to speak, the agitated woman in front of me screams, The end is nigh! Alrighty. She is uh, possessed. Kinda, I'd say she's intelligent, but she has seven. Learning. The signs are clear and everywhere. The people of Chieftain of Basa know it all too well. Disorders, bandits, thieves, violence, and the disappearance of justice among men. 
The world as we know it is about to end. There is only one way for us to be saved. Burn all the infidels. And now, for the day is nigh. <laughs> so I can get piety. By burning the infidels. I can get piety and dread by burning her. Or I can just kick her out and spend piety. I have piety to go, but... Basa. What is this? Oh, Basa's over here. Hmm. Go ahead and burn the infidels. Well, she is... We are just... Really intelligent. I think we would see that this is kind of ridiculous. Uh, take this fool out of my sight. My champion Faduma comes forward, apprehensively escorted by her hus her husband Pei. Seems in bad temper. Starts off, my lady Nana Nimin Nimine is trying to seduce my wife, an affront to my name. He has never liked me. It must be him. Faduma is clearly embarrassed have this aired so publicly and can barely bring herself to meet my eyes. Um, is there no proof? Good doing an intrigue challenge or I will not tolerate adulterers. But since we're just, there's no evidence we're not going to do that. We shall see if there's any truth to this. As the last petitioner departs, various courtiers follow them out of the room having business to attend elsewhere. Others remain, talking amongst themselves about the recent proceedings. Soon the ceremonial formality of the proceedings has dropped away entirely with the hum and bustle of normal courtly life taking its place. My business here is very good. So our court looks a little bit, a little bit sparse, a little mud brick building, very, very nice rug. I must. Um, bugs surrounding the lantern. I like that little detail. I like it. All right. So, too many held duchies. Yep. We need to get rid of that. Let's look at that. Chieftain of Basa. This one. Grant to this guy, I believe, because he is everything. Give him that. Okay. Now we're fine. Faduma Fonti schemed against me. Ah, yes. I remember this from before. I don't want to do that because they are extremely good at fighting. <laughs> Let's invite champions for 150 prestige. We have a little bit of money. And we have that 20% uh, reduction in, um, in recruitment cost. So. Very nice. Let's go ahead and unpause the game a little bit here. Let's see how Karen is coming along here. Better at diplomacy than anything else, but we are forcing her into a martial. A martial education. Okay. 18, not bad. Legendary Blade Master. Now, this guy is excellent. Let's go ahead and bring him in. Or there we go. 18. Not at all. Immediately reopen his screen to try and get. 
good. Some of all skills. Bring in. Terrified of me. What? Am I dreadful? <laughs> I have no idea. Bring her in. Demand conversion. Pregnant once again. Then demand conversion as well. Oh, they both convert. Good. Good, good, good. How many champions can we have? We, have, we can have nine. My marshal is not being allowed. Is. Or not. Right now we're at skill five. We could have thirty-four twenty-seven or thirty-four thirty, whatever. Can't create a new minute arms regiment. Check this out. Thirteen is not too bad. Paranoid, zealous, gluttonous. Let you go. let you go make a new have bush hunters light footmen and more bush hunters <laughs> we could use uh, perhaps uh, light footmen uh, we could use pikemen perhaps couldn't get them in three Oh my goodness, we had twins. Genital twins. Girl and a boy. Okay. He is uh, handsome. Is beautiful and quick. So not the greatest trait um, inheritance. So we're going to get her sort of a generic Akan name. Abrima sounds good, and him as well. Hobina, I like that. Can we get a K name for her? Hesse and Kobina. Now that sounds like twin names if I've ever seen it. There we go. Uh, we do want to educate them though. I'm not going to educate. I'm well. I may as well. My second daughter. That and Kobina. That person. You have a guardian. Uh, Grimsy does not. <laughs> Aaron is being educated by me. Hinda and Pretty Boy Blue are all being educated. Okay, good. So, Lady in Waiting. Demba is very good at this. Antiquarian, we don't have any um, artifacts yet. 
Master of the Horse, Knight Effecting, this goes up. We have some excellent choices here. Mampong looks like the best choice. He's very young. Master of the Hunt. Not really building anything right now. I almoner. Okay. Court jester. Do we have a court jester? Not really a good one. Court musician. Not really. Personal champion. Let's do. Let's do a koi. Really like me. Anything else we want to look at here? Execution. Okay. But that's where I was really wanting to do. We go through the courtiers. Make sure they're all a con. Or they're all um, a calm religion. Oh no, all babies cried, but with little Kessie, there is no end to the tears. I desperately want the midwife to ease my worries, but her furrowed brow makes everything worse. The little bit lady is not gaining weight as she should. We will take good care of her, my lady, but in the end, her life is in Niame's hands. Hush now, Kessie. Please don't cry. I want them all to be home in the court. This one, our champion. Herded. Husband. Somebody's planning to kill Maram. Else is of the correct faith. We are the head of the culture, and we're trying to do mustering grounds, I guess for more troop size. Fine. New diplomacy perk, and a court event available. Okay, let's do the diplomacy perk first. Actually be our first perk of the game. All right. So, groom to rule, I think. Should have received one to three extra skill points is very, very good. Get the next generation rolling. And... Right. Check you out. Very good. Go ahead and bring you in. over and find you a suitable wife prowess with the ladies even be in one of our knights bring her in There you go. Excellent. And we have two court events. Wow. Courtiers scorned. Why would you honor that fool Akoi with a position at court and not me? My courtier Garmuyu is livid. Apparently he had been certain that the honor would befall him and no one else. Antiquarian? Or I could force him to be 
I'm the jester. Oh, come off it. Tell him to leave us alone. Finger bones of a Omanhina. A peddler in a cloak with dozens of baubles and knickknacks sewn onto it rattles up to me. I have a magnificent psalter. An illuminated manuscript with a sculpted ivory cover adorned with turquoise beads. It contains tales of woman and man in love. <laughs> the carving is certain to impress Omanhine Sokuro, so he would never again think to lie with another. Psalter of Cacaldry artifact. Um, sell your lies elsewhere. I'm not interested. Sorry. Okay. So we've we've done a few things here. We've created a kingdom, and we have our first vassal over here. This guy. Imane. Our marshal. Uh, he controls Basa. Grimsey increases his diplomacy by one. Very nice. Uh, what is he doing here? Let's do... Diplomacy education, perhaps. Okay. He's doing a diplomacy. Also learn well, okay, learning education. Uh, diplomacy Marshall. Aaron, yes. Nothing and nothing yet. Okay, somebody's plotting to kill my champion Lubat Lubatko. It would be nice if we could stop that, but I'm not too overly concerned about that one. Just kind of hanging out for now. Yeah. Let's go ahead and speed things along a little bit, because right now we're just sort of existing. Not really doing much of anything. Okay, another pregnancy. Um, okay, somebody's planning to kill my courtier, Yakpazua. Okay. For that not to happen. Alright, what are we looking for now? We're looking for Kono. And I believe Toro. Yeah, we control Mal. So the this, and this we can go after. Okay, so you're certain that my courtier again Sola is coming against my champion Lubato. Lubatko. Throw him in jail. I like the little ninja hood scheming. Alright, this person is not really my Seneschal. Hmm. Alright, let them know. Let everyone know about it. Right, I stand above my subjects as a sovereign ruler, unequaled in the realm. Dressing the part with resplendent garments and jewelry would serve as a subtle reminder to everyone that I am in charge. But we're shy. <laughs> and we're just. Uh, local fashions have symbolic meaning. 95% I acquire an outfit fit for an Omanhina. Traditional raiment, diplomacy two, stewardship one. Under diplomacy experience, I do not need things to legitimize my rule. I think we'll do this challenge. Local fashions have a symbolic meaning. They do. All right, excellent. And we are at grandeur level two in our court. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Unlocks the Bestow Royal Favor Counselor tab. But. 
Counselor task performed by the Chancellor, which increases the opinion of a chosen vassal in the realm toward their liege. Okay, so I can make them like me more that way. Fair enough. Very good. We need to be swaying anyone right now? How about our champions? All kind of in the green. About the. What about my vassals? I have three vassals. They all love me except for this person. Bear. Child. Rebo. Aha, your father died. Can't sway you. Okay, you just you just don't know me well enough. You're a little kid. And you're like, what is happening? I just was given the reins to Grebo, and I don't know what to do now. Everything is horrible. All right, so we're we're basically we're we're changing culture. We're changing religion. We're regaining control of out of control areas. Okay, Faduma is plotting against Lubato. Lubatko. I guess that's fine. Um, you guys can just air your grievances, okay? It'll be fine. Ah, my son. My relief is great, my joy even greater. I have given birth to a perfect little son. Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? Oh, this one is... Excellent. He is a genius. Beautiful and hale. Brain boy. Name? Forevermore. We will educate him. A brain person. Basically, uh, this guy. Oh. All my children. For every birth, the cordiality shown me grows. As I hold my newborn babe in my arms, I am greeted by more warmth and kindness than ever before. I guess I do have quite the impressive gathering of children. Kindness born from birth. I gain mothered many children. General opinion plus five. Okay. Very good. We're the blood mother. Mother of many children, traditional raiments, and insight into the heavens. Excellent. So our genius trait finally got passed on. One of our children. Oh, wait a minute. Grimsy has the genius trait. Ah. Okay. Okay, there's no end to the opinions of once of my daughter and heir, Karen. Half of the time, she's trying to tell me what to do instead of the other way around. Formidable or aggravating, it's a fine line to walk. It's the trait bossy. And that is good for a child we're trying to educate to be a marshal. Where's Karen? Yeah. Marshal one, stewardship one. Excellent. Very good diplomat, though. So that's, it's not bad. All these people. All these people aiming against one another. We're almost done covering culture down here. Uh, greetings, Omanhina Kakra of Guinea. I've studied the Kwa language for many moons. I personally penned this message using missive using the Qua script a letter of friendship from a speaker of crew I wish for our future diplomatic dealings to benefit us both greatly Dabo um, sure that's fine All right. culture is complete can you this on down the lines 
because we want cultural acceptance of our culture and no one else's. Let's see. Another quarry you're getting schemed against. <laughs> Not even gonna look at those anymore. It's just ridiculous. These people are gone. Have gone absolutely bonkers in the court. A courtier between friends, my steward Nana Man, Manheti, has honored me with a visit and has brought one of my courtiers along. Monty approaches me excitedly. Well met, O Manhina Kakra. It pleases me to see you thriving here in Crew. It occurred to me that Okonfo here might be of service in your court. He is an incredibly talented scholar, the brightest I have ever learned from. I would make use of him myself, but alas, it doesn't seem possible. I hate to see this great talent go to waste. Won't you take him and unleash his potential? Um, pretty bright. He's excellent learning. He is a chicken, cynical, impatient. Uh, he's also a dwarf. I don't really have a use for this guy. So we're going to say, sorry, but no. I have no reason for that. My goodness, another child. <laughs> the court grandeur is level one again. Horrible. So... Perhaps we can go after this guy again. Can at this point. These de jure county. Both of them are de jure. Uh, we can do my claims. Oh no. Subjugate him. Can't afford that. That she that and we'll just get it out of the way now go ahead and do that it's pretty expensive but I think it'll be fine up flag I'll raise everyone here and Yielding Defender, Jungle Stalker. Okay. Gonna hunt him down. You're just gonna go in. Okay, let the traitor be known to all. Have fun with your scheming. Oh, you and uh, Sakura declared undying love for each other after having a romance at court. After having been joined in together in matrimony, you seduced him. Oh. Alright, we're going over here to get him. That is a serious fort, buddy. Um, increase controlling county. Now, we want to organize the army for now. Diplomacy, perk, very good. Family opinion, plus 50. Yeah, I think family is, is going to be our thing. Family is going to be our thing. This is going to take an absolute age. It's all kind of busy over here, guys. You know? With a war. Free boy blue comes of age. I am proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult. With sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards diplomatic influence, such as pretty boy blue, has come to truly understand it. Oh no. With an excellent grasp of all manners of etiquette, an understanding of all kinds of entertainment, and the eloquence to go with it, he will have little trouble navigating a life at court. Oh. He has a three-star education, charismatic negotiator, diplomacy plus six. 
monthly diplomatic lifestyle experience 30% he has a betrothal already okay fast Oh, deaf diplomacy. My Chancellor Kamui has worked hard to convince our neighboring realms and vassals that the peace treaty I entered with Farbas, Moral Bani of Toro, is flawed, illegitimate, and unfair to me. I am once again free to declare war upon him. Yeah, that's up here. With uh, Mao. Good. Catch this guy. Yeah, don't. Maybe I just go over here. Capture this thing. Okay, what's in a name? With the babe cradled in his arms, Sakura looks up to me, head held high and eyes glowing with pride. My love, I think we should name him Sakura after me. What do you say? Wow, beautiful genius. Sakura, you are not, you are neither of those things. You're handsome. Um, fine. Fine. Not concerned. All right. It's gonna be six months. Oh my, wait a minute. We don't have a, a commander. Okay. Better. Gothic arms. Along with their strange goods, merchants bring tall tales from distant lands, unverifiable, full of wonder. A group of male peddlers purport to have brought Bashariki objects said to have come from the faraway court of a great ruler, Caliph al Mutaz of the Abbasid Empire, no less. Nyan, the leading trader, grins darkly. Axe could be yours, for a special price, of course, great Omanhina. A likely yarn indeed. I had some way to verify the hawker's story. Abbasid Battle Axe. I mean, it's legit, looks like. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, it's really crappy, but uh, it's better than nothing, I guess. Let's uh, go ahead and put that on. Prowess one, not affecting this two percent. Not the worst thing in the world. And now we need an antiquarian. This guy is average at it, but he's better than zero. Now we could bring in, yeah, we could bring in. And call you to war. Gonna have our back over here. Excellent. This is taking forever. My goodness. Granger level zero. Holy moly. Roll that. 8% down here. You guys are going. They're going for the capital. Okay. You down here. that has plagued my daughter since her birth has finally released its hold on her. Relief washes over me as I see Kessie running around with all the other children. Grow strong, Kessie.
raided. You guys are leaving, so I'm gonna come. Wax. Will not stand. Okay. Again, scheming against one another, not bothered at all. All right, and I got my uh, my money back. Back over here. Trying to unsiege their capital. Oh, Dynasty Legacy. Why? Now, since we're the Blood Mother, I'm thinking probably Blood. Noble Veins. Chance of inheriting good congenital traits, 30% increase. Chance of new good congenital traits, also 30% increase. We're going to do that. We'll look at this other stuff on the next uh, next go around when this pops up. But for now, since it's Cockford the Blood Mother, that's appropriate. Annihilating their army, and we have one. See if we have any prisoners that we can get rid of for money. Version. Man conversion. Renounce claims, yes. Okay, we'll just get you to renounce your claims. We don't want any problems in the future here, buddy. 25 money or convert. I think conversion is more valuable, personally. Okay. Now we take control, expand our army, and we need to distribute We need to distribute some of this land here. Kono. All three of these can just go to someone. I mean, Pretty Boy Blue would be interesting. That is gregarious, vengeful, honest, good with money. Just make him our vassal. Because he's not going to inherit anything on his own. Got really good traits. Very good diplomacy. Deep. Go with that. That, that, that. Eight, maybe. Probably need to create. I don't. Yeah. Create the title. Grant that to Pretty Boy Blue. Oh. Now our vassal. Can he do anything? Yeah, he can be the Chancellor. Excellent. And we know we can go north. This area here now, since we validated the peace agreement there, somehow. Looks like we're allied with these guys. Are we? No, that's their ally. Okay. 168, 19. Rolled over. To be honest. We would kind of roll over him. Back to control. Wait a minute here. Leviathan. 
It behooves an Omanquina to spend time at sea, with the salty air in her face and a fine vessel beneath her feet. The day sees my personal craft and a small escorting squadron out for drills, practice, and pleasure. The short voyage has been an exhilarating change of pace from life at court when we spot it. A distant plume of water, followed by a small island of wine-dark flesh rolling out of the waves. The greatest beast of all the deep. Bail. Okay, get the harpoons. Okay, not very good at prowess. Let's try it. Yeah, we didn't do any good. <laughs> All right. So it looks like pretty bad across the board. Being honest here. So I know. Gonna do that. I'd like to get some of these in. Or camps especially. And markets especially. Ghana. Way up here. Oh. Wouldn't be nice to her. Also. Also. Kingdom of Guinea. Kingdom of the Terrificans. <laughs> and we're going to go back to our kind of blue-green ocean flavor here. Right. Let's do like this. This, I mean, that'll be fine, right? It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Now we're back to being ocean. Excellent. Good. We have a diplomacy perk. Uh, blood is thicker than water. Excellent. Just moving down that tree, basically. anything interesting rape the barrel <laughs> uh, send your guests packing recruit your specialist go on a pilgrimage done that before do that seek aid of the spirits sure I did Bono Manso. Oh, uh, we're broke. We're broke. We can't do this. Um, all right. Increase control is done. Try to continue. Now, since we control that, get it generating some money for us. Develop some of these counties down here. I have no money. I'm along here a little bit more. And about our future maneuver, I think it's going to be up here. Gain control of this area right here. Create another duchy title. Perhaps just the next logical step would be Loma right next. Now we did have a comment. Um, I very much appreciate these. Let me find it real quick. Okay, so. This comment said, Happy New Year. Great video. Keep an eye on Ghana for when they're weak and try to grab the Duchy of Manding. 
One of, if, one of, if not the strongest duchies in Africa with two gold mines. They will have horsemen, though, so they will counter your bowmen hard. Thank you, Carl Taylor. I appreciate the uh, the shout out there. Let's look for that duchy. Ending, it's right there. Right above Toro. So, want to see controls. That's not even a created duchy, I don't think. It just is within Ghana's borders, but they are not very strong. We have more military than they do. That is amazing. So, out here. And right here would be one. Chiefdom of Niani, right there. Right here. Burre. 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 I don't know. Here. Like here. These two right next to each other. Be the main ones. And we would want to control those ourselves. Our holdings. Really keep um, money flowing. So thank you once again, Carl Taylor, for that excellent insight into... Uh, Bitter Kings. Really, really enjoyed uh, reading all your comments lately uh, throughout the series. I do try to respond to every single one of them. I do read every single one of them. Give some kind of reaction. Usually it's a heart because I love your comments. So definitely keep them coming. Let me know what you think about the series and what we could do in the future, I mean, obviously, right now it's going to be take over Toro and Toma, which is part of it right now, and then just move up here, move into Manding, and just control this duchy. That's going to be one of the two duchies that we ourselves try to make sure we control. And we're pregnant again. <laughs> Will it be a son? Will it be a daughter? I don't know. Uh, I have not had a timer running. Oh no. I have not had a timer running this whole time, which is my mistake. I'm just going to kind of assume that we are toward the end of the line. As far as time goes. But we need a, we need a physician. Let's get this fixed right now um search for a physician go ahead and do that lost a whole lot of stuff here hi shaman Akra. is that me no I'm, I'm much smarter than that what is what is happening <laughs> um yeah, we're gonna we're gonna replace you like immediately. You're horrible. Um. Yeah. And we need let's let's take care of the um. Yeah, position. Before we end things. Wow, this guy is very good, Kojo. Yep. He's not quite experienced, but he's very, very intelligent. Sorry, he's a mastermind philosopher. We have uh, Bawadi. Bawadi seems enthusiastic, if nothing else. He is horrifyingly bad. Kojo, you're in. Congratulations. Let's get you married. Um... Get you married to someone good. Wow. Nobody, nobody's good. Got uh, stubborn, generous, and paranoid. Oh, I see. He's 23. He is super good for 20.
think we might go with Placiba here. She is fairly good with with her skills. All right, let's go ahead and get that done. She is a calm as well. She was also a peasant leader. No prowess. Whatever. Okay. Okay, to the fair Omanhina Kakra of Ocean Rific. I know we're supposed to be stopping here, but this is um, we're just thing after another. In a few days' time, my vassal, the Bigume Kamo, will travel through Baobo. If you orchestrate an ambush and capture him, I will reward you generously. If you accept my offer, you will get half of the money now, and the other half when you turn over Kamo. If he should die in the fray, I will shed no tears, but I will not pay for his court. Trust that the words on this parchment will stay between us. I look forward to your reply. So, Balbo. There it is. I know the perfect place for an ambush. 75 to me now, and I assume 75 later. 55% chance we capture him, but we're just, so... Pretend... You know, I'm just not gonna get involved. That's your problem, buddy. That's your problem. Your deal. Bro can marry. Big Boy Blue can marry, uh... Shawata. Yep. Very good. Where is she located? Is Pretty Boy Blue there? No, he is over here. So, okay, she is gonna rule over here. Yauri. Yauri. I lied with him though. Or before. So again, in the future, we're going to go after Toro and then go after Ghana for uh, the Duchy of Manding. For our wonderful comment, uh, giving us that tip off. So thank you so very much for spending your free time here with me on the channel. I am uh, Lothans, of course, and if you liked what you saw you want to see more crusader kings i'm definitely going to continue uh, at least for a little bit longer I, I really enjoy the game i'm enjoying this playthrough quite a bit uh, but the best way to let me know that you want to see more is to like the video leave a comment telling me hey hello or liked it or let's go let's see more or anything you want to say if it's negative throw that on there as well i i love constructive criticism it helps me tremendously so do not hesitate give me any kind of feedback in the comment section below and if you really like the content and you want to support the channel for free consider subscribing and we'll see you next time